Honors is home to a unique museum of art created by men and women who fought for our country. Hi, Brendan Foster. Welcome to the National Veterans Art Museum. The National Veterans Art Museum is a fine art museum with over 2,500 pieces of work created by veteran artists. Can you tell me how this museum got started? The museum started actually in 1981. A group of Vietnam veteran artists got together to create art surrounding their experience in Vietnam. It seems like a very personal way to learn about somebody who was in the war. See, this could potentially be very cathartic and therapeutic for veterans to have a place to sort of put their emotions in art. I would love to get started on this tour. Yes, come on. Yeah, okay. Tours here are free. You can just come in and look around or you can call and actually get a official tour. Hey guys. <laughs> hey. Welcome to the National Veterans Art Museum. Thanks for having us. Well, the defining moment is a retrospective uh, on the year 1968, the height of the Vietnam War, but also a turning point. I was in the Vietnam War in uh, 1969. I was in the AmeriCal Division, uh, B Company, B Battery. The quality of art, but also the emotion that, uh, that the art brings out in people, uh, whether you're a veteran or not, it's a powerful place to be actually have in this exhibition is an actual map of Vietnam. Yes, and I was looking and I did see where I was out of. I would love to see this map. I was very uh, grateful actually that Brittany, our producer's dad, was here with us doing the tour because he actually fought in the Vietnam War. So to go over to the Vietnam map with him and him actually use his finger and point out that this is where I fought and this is where I shot at the enemy, it really makes it personal. One thing I wanted to show you before we went to the things they carried is this machine here. It's, uh, I believe, from about 1945. It's a graphic type uh, machine that actually stamps dog tags. 58,307 dog tags all have the name, uh, date of death, and service brands of everyone who lost their life in Vietnam. To read or hear the number 58,307, it's another thing to see it. Work is people. You can actually go there and search for a name and see where their dog tag is hanging and learn about them. I think is, again, just bringing home that this is so personal. Welcome to the things they carried. It's an interactive exhibition, so you're actually able to, uh, you know, touch the things they carried. And if you want some fruit cake, you could probably still eat one of their sea rations the old, today. The old sea rations, yeah. Not only can you see the very emotional stories on the wall of what it was like to be in war, you could actually pick up like a backpack and see just how intense physically it is to be at war. I do want to feel this, like how I could actually do it. You guys, this is unbelievable. I cannot believe how heavy this is. It was actually all very touching stories to make me feel a more personal connection with people who fought for us. Uh -huh. 